Today I'm making a clay turtle. I have a burlap mat here, which I'm always going to keep my clay on top of so it doesn't stick to the table. I have a cup of water and a skewer tool, which I can use to cut or draw on the clay. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my little clay ball here and I'm gonna break it into two even pieces. So see how they're about the same size? Now let's try, I'm gonna try breaking it again. Are these two the same size? No, so those aren't equal pieces. Make sure the two pieces you break apart are about the same size, just like this. So you're gonna set one piece aside and then with this piece, I'm gonna roll it into more of a ball shape. Doesn't have to be perfect, just somewhat of a ball. And then I'm gonna use the bottom part of my hand to squish it down into a pancake. Not super duper flat and I'm not banging on it or slapping it, I'm just squishing it with the heel of my hand, flipping it over and making it into a pancake. It's kind of the same thickness as an actual pancake or maybe a cookie. So look at how thick that is, that's really good. It shouldn't be too thin and I'll tell you if it is. Otherwise I think you'll be okay. Now set your pancake aside, and again, you're gonna break this piece up into three equal pieces. So take a look at how they're all about the same size. So three equal pieces. We're gonna roll some coils from these pieces. So you can start by rolling between your hands and then rolling on the mat. A coil, you might, you might say it's like making a snake out of clay, it's called a coil. And it should be longer than the pancake. So this one isn't quite longer than the pancake. Should be a little bit longer. So take a look, it should stick out from both sides from the pancake, kind of like that. So I'm gonna put my first coil up there so that I can measure my other coils against it and make sure that they're about the same length. So again, I'm rolling a coil. I have my hand flat as I'm doing it, making it long and skinny. Should be about the same size as my first coil, so I'm gonna match it up a eh, little bit too small there we go that looks that looks good and i'll roll this one just a little bit more all right those are about the same size my last coil once again it's going to be about the same size as my other two and that looks pretty good i'll just fold this one in a tiny bit just to make it match up more all right there's my three coils that i rolled now I'm gonna take my pancake again, and this is how I'm gonna place the coils on my pancake. I'm gonna put one straight across, then I'm gonna put one diagonal, and then I'm going to put the other one diagonal the other way so it's like an X. So we have a straight line and then an X. But I can't just put them on and expect them to stick down. I have to do something very special called score and slip. So scoring is scratching the surface where you're gonna put a piece of clay Slip is when you dip your finger into the water and put a little water on there. Then you can squish down your piece of clay to make it stick. If you don't score and slip, your clay uh, project is going to fall apart when it dries. So again, scratch the surface with the stick, the skewer. Dip your finger into the water, get a little bit of water on there. Then you can stick your clay piece down. And again, I'm doing one straight across, one going diagonal, and the other going the other way diagonal to make an X. And score and slip before you lay anything down. Scratching the surface, getting a little water on my finger, putting the water down, and then sticking my piece on. It's like clay glue. Scoring and slipping is very important. And I'm gonna squish these pieces down pretty good into the pancake. And as you can see, the pancake is my turtle shell and these coils are my turtle's head, tail, and arms and legs. So you can uh, uh, pinch them and mold them so that they look pretty even. You could pinch the tail so it's kind of pointy. And then when you turn your turtle around, you'll see he looks like a turtle. You can poke some eyes into his head. So you can use the skewer tool to just poke little holes for eyes. And then on the shell, you can use these texture tools to add a little bit of fun textures on your turtle's shell.
And now my clay turtle is ready to dry and I'll paint it when it's all dry next time.